Hi, for this video, we're going to talk about the different functional groups of organic compounds. Let me just use the outline that's given from chem.libretexts.org and let's acknowledge them for this, for this table. Now, let's look at the categories of the different organic compounds. Let's start with the groupings, the primary groupings of these organic compounds. And I hope you also have your own reference for these functional groups so that you can compare it with that and you can just make this as your supplementary um, learning material for you to guide you with your um, with your memorization and remembering of the um, organic compounds so let's start with a basic grouping the basic grouping are just your hydrocarbons you know hydrocarbons contain just carbon and hydrogen in your structure and so there are four that you need to remember under the hydrocarbons category. And these are your alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and arenes. Now, the alkynes, the alkanes, I mean, A-N-E-S, the general formula for that is just R-H. Now, what does R mean? R means it's just an alkyl group, which is the same with having carbon and hydrogen chains or, or connections. So it basically just contains your carbon and hydrogen for the R. And there's an H. So alkene is the basic type of organic compound which contains only all carbon and hydrogen um, elements and all the bonds are single bonds. So that's why it's emphasized here RH. So all are single bonds. Example of that is CH3CH3. And when we draw that, it's going to be all single bonds because C to C will be single to single. And then the H, the 3H will supply the remaining bonds of carbon to come up with four bonds. So that's why it's the simplest hydrocarbon and we call them again alkanes. And later on when we name them, alkanes names will end in A and E, which is the name of this example. The name is ethane look for or watch out for my next video about naming all these organic compounds later on the next category are alkenes alkenes are still hydrocarbons but you have double bond so if you see a double bond that means you're dealing with alkenes and their name will end in e and e now the general formula for that is r r prime c double bond c r Prime, prime, R, prime, prime, prime. So that means the prime will just look at the, um, the, the primary, secondary, or tertiary structure of your alkyl group, which we will take that up in the future videos. But for now, the emphasis or the highlight of alkenes are the presence of your double bonds. So example of that is ethene or ethylene, and the structure looks like this. Alkynes is the third category, which has the presence of your triple bonds. So this example has to be edited. You should put another bond here to make it a triple bond because it's just one H for each carbon. So that means this is a triple bond. You can correct that in your notes. So triple bond, when you see all pure hydrocarbons and it's triple bond, that means you get alkynes. Fourth is the arenes. Arenes are aromatic hydrocarbons, which particularly has what we call the benzene ring. The benzene ring is a hexagon structure, cyclic structure with alternating double bonds within it. So since it's alternating, you would expect that there will just be two, do I mean three double bonds within the hexagon structure and it should be alternating because this ring exhibit resonance. So it's just still purely hydrocarbons, hydrogen and carbon, but it forms a cyclic structure and there should be six carbons with alternating double bonds. So we call that the benzene ring. So every time you just see that, that means you have the arene classification or the arene functional group. Let's proceed. So we have alkanes, alkenes, alkynes and arenes for your hydrocarbon group. Let's now go to the halogen containing compounds. Now, when we talk about halogen, halogens are the group 7A elements. They're the second to the last. 
column in the periodic table. So anywhere there. So halogen-containing compounds are still chains or connections of hydrocarbons, but then there is the insertion of a halogen. And halogens are just like hydrogen because halogens are just capable of forming one bond because their configuration, the last configuration is a P5. So it needs one more to complete the P6. That means you usually see the halogens on the terminal side of your structure. So say, for example, we have alkyl halides. So alkyl, that's your R, which is still hydrocarbon, and then you attach a halogen there, so that means it's an alkyl halide. So this is just like the beginning. If you see CH3, CH3 here, one hydrogen became a chlorine. So one hydrogen is deducted, so that means you have CH2 now, and then chlorine to add to the bond of carbon to make it four. So that means that's an alkyl halide. Now, the aryl halide is the same as the arene before. You still see the benzene ring, the aromatic benzene ring, but on the side of it, you have a halogen present in it. So it's just easy to remember. It's called aryl halides. So that's it for the two halogen-containing compounds. And then we go to the oxygen-containing compounds. There are six of them. So any, anything that has oxygen compounds, now it requires for you to be familiar with the terms and the names, some of which might be new to you, some are common. So let's start with the common, the alcohol. Alcohol's highlight is just the OH. You have still hydrocarbons, but with the presence of your hydroxide, then you have an alcohol. Phenol is still the same with alcohol. There's still OH, but there's your benzene ring where OH is attached to. So phenol is a benzene with an OH attached to it. Third are the ethers. Ethers are structures in which oxygen is in between two carbon atoms. Just look at the example right away. You have C, O, C. When you draw the structure here, C connects to O and the O connects to the next C. So O doesn't go out, but it's embedded or integrated within the structure. That's why the general formula for that is R, O, R. That means O is in between two carbons. That's ether. Say ether. Okay, next are the aldehydes. Aldehydes are the ones that you see on the terminal side because it's the, it's the connection of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in which oxygen is going outward and it's a double bond, unlike ether, which is it's all single bonds left and right. But aldehydes are double bond, C double bond O with an H on the um, end. So it's a CHO, C-H-O, aldehydes. Okay? Ketones are a CO, C-O only. There's no more H. So aldehydes, there was an H, but for ketones, it's just a C double bond O. C double bond O, which you may put in between or it may be on the end either, but aldehydes is always on the end because of the H. But because ketones, we remove the H and replace it with um, any hydrocarbon, then you just have the highlight to be the C double bond O. So that's your ketone. And the last oxygen-containing compounds are the carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids have the general formula COOH. This is the only um, functional group that has double O. So you have COOH, which is also found on the terminal end of your structure because of the hydrogen. Okay, so again, alcohols OH, phenols OH and benzene ring, ethers COC, aldehydes C double bond OH, Ketones, just C double bond O. Carboxylic acids are C, O, O, H. So that's for oxygen-containing compounds. And we are into the last two. We have carboxylic acid derivatives and nitrogen-containing compounds. Carboxylic acid derivatives, we just got it from your C, O, O, H here, carboxylic. But we derive it, so that means we change a portion of it. So let's start with esters. Esters... Um, ester is a COO only. That means the H of carboxylic here was replaced by another alkyl group or hydrocarbon chains. So it's a COO, C double bond O, and then O is in between two carbon here. So that's esters. 
from COOH, the H has been replaced with an alkyl group. And then amides are C double bond O, then NH alkyl group. So amides, C double bond O with nitrogen, which is the same with amines, say amines, not amines. Amines are just alkyl group with NH2. And nitriles are the ones with like a cyanide. It has a C triple bond N. And lastly, nitro compounds, we have a benzene ring with NO2. So please go over this and keep studying. Bye.